Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, should we get started? Um, brilliant to come to a meeting where everybody kind of gets quiet even before you've begun. Usually you have to sort of ding glasses and all sorts of things and shout and stuff. So a very promising sign of interest and, uh, and excitement about the meeting. So thank you very much for coming to this meeting, which is um, uh, to announce the, the launch of the second call of the DFID ESRC um, growth research program. Um, a few logistical bits of information which I've got to give you. Uh, the loos, um, gents straight down that corridor, ladies off to the left. Fire exits follow the green signs, and if the fire alarm goes off, uh, orderly procession following the green signs um, to the fire exit. And right at the end of the meeting, we've um, arranged uh, for tea. Um, for those of you who want to stay on and have a more informal chat with some people, and that's not going to be downstairs. That's going to be just through that door on the right-hand side in a room, just the other side of that wall. So the purpose of the meeting is to provide uh, some information to you and to answer some of your questions um, uh, from prospective researchers who are thinking of uh, submitting proposals to the core, uh, and also to provide an opportunity for you to meet some of the people who are involved in the, in the uh, program, from DFID, from ESRC, and from the directorate. Um, and, and to meet each other, and that's what, one of the reasons why we've, we've arranged the tea at the end. Uh, just also to tell you, this is on the record, it's being streamed live and being recorded, and it will be written up and posted on the website um, within 48 hours. So just be aware of that uh, when you're talking. Um, we have 90 people registered. I think we have about 60, 65 here, so that's excellent, from four countries. We've got four countries in the room. We've got 50 registered online from 15 countries from uh, Europe, Africa, the US, Latin America, the Middle East, and Northern Africa, but nothing, nobody, interestingly, from uh, South Asia and Southeast Asia. That might be a time difference issue. Anyway, so a lot of interest um, from around the world in this program. You've seen, the, um, you've seen the program in your bit of paper that was on your chair. Uh, basically, we were going to have lunch. We've had that, and that was very good. And then we've got a series of um, uh, speakers uh, providing some information about the program. Uh, first of all, uh, Stephen's going to, Stephen Lee's going to talk about the program from DFID's perspective, how it sits in with DFID's broader range of work on, on growth, and then a series of uh, presentations about the content uh, of this particular call, the themes and the questions within it, and that's going to be led by Dirk Willem, um, who's the, research, uh, the director of research for the program, and he's going to talk about the innovation um, uh, theme uh, Steve Wiggins uh, is going to talk about the agriculture theme, and Professor Helmut Rysen is going to talk uh, about the finance theme. And then we've got Professor uh, Maureen uh, McIntosh at the end, who's going to talk about her project, which was a successful application in the first round, um, just to give a flavour of the sort of research and the sorts of approaches um, which um, this programme uh, uh, is hoping to embrace. We're going to go straight through all the presentations. We're not going to have questions and answers between them. And I'm going to be quite fierce on timing. I warn you people on this table. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to insist that you stop. Um, but anyway, I'm going to try. We hope to get through it in an hour and then have an hour for questions and answers at the end. And then right at the end, we're going to have tea. OK. Um, a little bit about the directorate. Uh, and oh, my button's not working. Here we are. As you'll have seen from the call announcement on the ESRC website, um, ESRC and DFID have appointed ODI to run a directorate to provide guidance and support to the program um, and primarily to um, exploit synergies with other research programs and to try and maximize the impact of the research um, overall. And we've got two teams in the directorate. We've got a research team which is led by Dirk and a team focusing on uh, impact and uh, <coughs> communications uh, led by Louise uh, Shackson, who is somewhere in the room there. Um, and uh, my job is to sort of coordinate internally uh, uh, this, this wide uh, um, uh, uh, range of activities, which are kind of listed up there, so to provide some academic leadership advice on the research calls, facilitate networking between researchers and between researchers and policy makers, and that will involve a number of workshops and seminars in this country and, and uh, uh, in developing countries and, and possibly uh, elsewhere. Uh, to do some synthesis across and between the projects, so to commission some research in between the projects to try and build um, a coherent and uh, convincing body of evidence about what works in terms of uh, promoting um, uh, uh, growth. 
and to try and enhance the international reputation of the programme. But it's important to stress that we're, we're, the plan is to do this by supporting the grant holders. It's not something we're going to do on our own. We're here to help you to do these sorts of things, uh, and we can talk much more about that at another time. So this is actually the first public event we've organised for this. There will be another one in August when the um, uh, applicants have been shortlisted, and so when the applicants know they're through to the second round, we'll be organising a workshop for anybody from that cohort who want to come where we'll talk much more about the content of the programme, the kind of dimensions of the programme, and what needs to be in a successful proposal. But today we're going to focus on the research call itself, and uh, to start off that, I'm going to ask Stephen Lee to say a few words about um, how the programme sits within DFID's broader programme of work on growth. 